Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. We are, uh, well, we're 11. Again. We, we, has, we haven't been 11 for a while, actually, but we are 11. Um, and I want to go raiding. I want to go raiding. That's, that's what I want to do this episode. I want to get a lot of raiding done. Uh, let's get all of our fleet levies raised. Uh, I guess we have to raise our personal levies here. That's fine. Get them on the boat. Gonna head to Volmark, pick up the rest, and then we're gonna head out and go and uh, get some things done. Get some people captured. Right. Uh, can I toggle you as looter? Yup. Uh, and then we want to put in our two dragon riders because one of them is currently not uh, dragon riding and is on our council. So we'll set that one. Um, actually, instead of setting that one, we'll set Ragnar to this one, I think. Yeah, and then we'll set Viscera to the other. That way she has more men. Okay. And now we want to head out somewhere and go raid. We would want to raid. I mean, we could raid, like, um, Case, which is right next to us. That wouldn't be ridiculous. Yeah, let's go raid Case. We have our looter tog uh, toggled. He has a lot of men, but we have dragons. So we'll see how we do. Also, it has a lot of money. In case. Oh. Oh. Auto save. Auto save. Auto save didn't crash. Good. Right. Land in case. We'll just take all the money we can. Uh, Orion the Whisperer has declared the Eastweld War for Obar's claim on the Vale and Lord Paramount Marwyn of the Vale. So it's Lord Reaver uh, Oron the Whisperer. Uh, he has 5.61k against the. 14k of the veil currently. Yeah, I hope our realm doesn't fall apart while we're not in charge. That would be very awkward. Um, there's a Lannister ar army landing, but we'll see what's uh, happening. It's time for me to receive a proper education. Life is so full of opportunities. What will I become? So we have a strong, genius, humble, stubborn, honorable, just um, regent. And educator currently. Okay. What would they make us become? Would they make us? Um, I think we're really an intrigue-focused person right now. I think we could do some intrigue, but we're also very capable of doing the rest. We're not really into learning, though. Uh, you're kind of intrigue. You're kind of martial. You're kind of stewardship. No, we'll be intrigue-focused. I think that's fine. I think she could give us an intrigue-focused education here, uh, and it's something we haven't done yet. Playful and fussy children will do better. And we are playful. That's cool. And we'll go with that. And then I guess we'll find a new educator. But it would be if she would accept. So us. She would be fine. Samilla would definitely be fine. Uh, we're looking for high intrigue. I'm just thinking if there's anybody obvious who is better than Samilla with high intrigue. Who she would perhaps give us to. She seems to be pretty. We could go to Gail. Her sister. Not sister. Um, her daughter. Who is slightly better at it and is a dragon rider and owner of a dragon egg. Give it to us. No, we'll, we'll, we'll go with Gale. Definitely send. Right. Um, Lord Hallis the Wicked accepted Lord uh, Protector Vane of the Norse Peace Offer. The Forester has been imprisoned. Oh dear, he's going to lose his land soon. And the Lords of the Iron Isles have proved the institution of the Thraldom Law. So we can take people in, uh, we can take slaves in war. Oh, and he's now widowed. His heir being Kragon of Harden Hill. As actually, we can't inherit. We have no chance of inheriting until we become, like, of age. I guess that's it. Okay. Because I just noticed the other child has zero as well. Unless that is us. No, it's not us. Cool. No matter what I was doing or where I was, Tala always seems to find me. But seems tongue-tied and shy. I was alone in the library reading when she finally got the courage to talk to me. Um, well, you're so sweet. I like you too. I guess we're, uh, we have a small crush on Tara Maring. Okay. Uh, Arden Star died a natural death. A, uh, not sure who that was. Wait, no, Arden Star was a, um, he was a custom courtier at some point. Yes, he was a custom courtier. And then he went, he said, can I go and be a septum? The moment he arrived. Okay, I remember him now. Yes. Yes. 
So in this siege, are we going to... I think we're going to be able to siege it all um, if our dragons work. Iron King Stefar of the Iron Isles has formed an alliance with Prince Malthar of Wolando. Oh, okay. Your kinswoman, Margot Serpentil, has died. Uh, just a general kinswoman. Yeah. Oh, all oh, right. She's on the other line. Okay. It falls down to you whether to decide to make the funeral a bigger special event or keep it small and private. Well, I didn't really know her, so if it fell down to me, I guess it would be a private funeral. That's fine. I thought I finally had a chance of winning a friendly duel during the sword training, and my opponent clearly wasn't as comfortable with the sword as I was, and I had read our teacher's trapeze through and through several times. For all his unease, my opponent showed he knew what end of a sword you're supposed to hold, and I lost once again. So I had to say, good uh, game where we get charitable, and say, how dare you, you have gained a rival this day with Benedict Lydon, with a very interesting moustache, or I'll defeat you tomorrow. Okay, well, I know which one I want out of character, but in character. Well, I mean, we our Targaryen is ambitious, and she is our educator. Or are we? We're indolent, so we're averse to any kind of exertion, be it mental or physical. Um, we are also a, a quiet thinker. So, and we're also playful. Mm, so we could say good game and get charitable. I want. I think we're going to go with Ambitious. I think our Regent maybe would push us this way. Let's see. Let's go for Ambitious. Also, we are turning out to be one of the best characters ever that we've had. So, uh, you know, it's going to turn into uh, an interesting uh, thing when we die randomly because that's what happens when you have a good character. Um... So we got the same event again, so I guess maybe we'll become a rival with uh, Benedict. Like maybe um, the first time we're like, we'll defeat you and then he keeps defeating us and we'll be like, no, actually, how dare you, you've gained a new rival this day. Yes, we will eventually defeat him. Orion Time died under suspicious circumstances. He was murdered. He had no children. Um, however, his wife did. Okay. So have we taken everything from Case yet? We have. I was waiting to see if the siege would uh, do that thing with dragons where it takes down, but I guess not. Age 13, Lord Alvin of the Stone Way was murdered on the orders of Lord Armand of Kingsgrave. Okay, so uh, Alvin Snowfall, the last of the Snowfalls, yes, was just murdered by uh, uh, Ar Armin Manwoody. Okay, interesting. Maester Kyle is no longer a healer. He died a natural death. Okay, well, not healer, maester. It, it just says healer because it always says healer. Uh, I guess we'll put in Olvar. He's the next one on the list. That's fine. It doesn't really matter who your maester is. Right. Um, this siege, I'm kind of waiting for the dragon events to hit and take it over. Uh, your Excellency, I, Corellian, sincerely ask to be allowed to pursue our career in Septum of the Faith. Uh, of the seven, so I can fully dedicate myself to studying the seven pointed star and worshipping the gods. I thought Septons had to be male. Am I wrong here? Um, maybe I'm wrong here. Uh, we can always just check. Like, any, 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 any. Okay. Looking for a woman. Who is a Septon. Seems like I'm right. So enjoy being the uh, first female Septon. Because I think that's fun. We'll do that. Um, I'm kind of waiting for the dragon event to hit here. Where this just loses all its defenders. But we'll see if that's... You are still a dragon rider, right? Yeah. It was only Gale's dragon could do it. That could be interesting if it was. Um, oh, I think we may have everything we're getting here. Yep, definitely have everything we're getting here. Whoop, get out of there. We have a small amount of gold there, which I think we could drop off if we wanted to, but on the other hand, we could just go to somewhere like the Reach and take it. Take more. Yeah, let's uh, head right in. Okay, all the way in here. We will drop ourselves off in High Garden. Uh, who died? 
Mega of Sweetport Sound. Now she was the person we gave. Uh, she was the person we gave money to take the uh, land, like to take land. However, she did have a dragon, which means her dragon has just become free rate. Um, you know, free game. Somebody else could become a dragon rider soon. Westerosi Yunkai Embargo War has ended inconclusively. We're getting a little bit more money here. A little bit more money. A lot more money. Um, yeah. It seems like maybe it was only Gale's dragon that was capable of doing the dragon event. Seems very weird though. If that's the case. Especially weird that we didn't notice it before now. Um, right. Land. So yeah, you are a dragon rider. You're a dragon. You're the only one who's not. Maybe they have to be on that side. I mean, I don't know why they would have to be on that side, but we'll see. Uh, do something like that, and then we'll put. I don't know why I did that, but we'll put Vizera on that side, and we'll put Ragnar on this side. See if that uh, fixes the issue. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say Fail Felfang has escaped from the dungeons of Magister Parquello the Spider and has built a, a lair in Vedas Lands. Okay. Yes. That's not good. I mean, we don't care. But it's not good for them. I don't need many things. I can share what I have. It's not worth the effort accumulating things anyway. We're charitable. Okay, so we're ambitious and charitable. Interesting. Uh, Quentin Bull died under suspicious circumstances. He was murdered. Okay. Lord uh, Paramount Gerald of the Westlands usurped the Kingdom of the Westlands from uh, Lord Jason the Whisperer. The Jason Lannister has lost it and Gerald has taken it. Alright, so a different Lannister. Hmm. Okay. Um, not getting any... Oh, it's also pause. That might explain why we're not getting any dragon events. Rolo Mavery has died uh, of gonorrhea. Lords of the Arenals have approved the institution of the Balanced Noble Obligations Law. Alright. That was another death. Uh, Delia Seltigar has died. Okay. Yep, she was executed. Uh, there's a Peasant's Revolt. Okay. It was that. Uh, yeah, that was a Peasant's Revolt. That was what I read. Uh, there was a peasant's revolt for in the haunted forest by the um, by the wildlings because the man Woody's now held land beyond the wall. Weird. Okay. Very weird. Okay. Let's keep sieging. I want to see whether we can get anything beyond the siege line. Also, this line is it, it, there is definitely going past the siege line there as well, which is weird. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They say dragons live once more that Neris Magar now rides Felfang into battle. Okay. Doesn't look like our dragon events are working at all. Although it might just be because we have to stop every 10 seconds for an event. Uh, an old legal right. Almost as forgotten. Almost forgotten by all. But the lordly nobility called First Knight or the Lord's Right is the subject of heated debate. The lords of in Volmark claim that it is the right to take the virginity of their subjects' maiden daughters and that the small folk are protesting against and sometimes violently resisting such a barbaric right. So we either let the lords have some fun, or that uh, that shouldn't be legal, um, I forbid it. So this is Ermond of Shieldrow. It would be Sir Miller's choice, and she is just... Um, I think we're gonna, and honorable, I think we're gonna have to say no. Yes, very much a no. Right. Your Excellency, I believe that Donovar Rain has been in your custody for too long. I hereby offer to pay the ransom to secure his release. I trust you will accept this fair offer. Um, well, what would Samilla say? I think she would probably say yes. She doesn't have any great reason to hold him prisoner. Yeah, I accept your offer. Right. Yeah, our dragons just don't seem to be as effective as they used to be at uh, getting us extra land. Oh well, we'll see. What's the difference between their dragons? I should check that out, actually, if this is the main reason. So, Gale, her dragon is Zeral, 53, proud, shy, patient, incompetent commander. Okay. Uh, what are the other two? I should have just been on Gale, because uh, it is her sister or something like that. Uh, some, some, one of her family. Um, 
Right. There we go. It's her aunt. So, Rala, your dragon, is Spyrax. He's 31, so he's younger. Slothful, trusting, attractive. Okay. Um, and then the other dragon is the other target. So, Vizera, Rala. All right. So, Vizera, your dragon, is a Gorgorgog. And he is trusting, slothful, and ugly. So it might be that you have to be a certain age of dragon to be able to do these things. Like if you're um, a 50 dragon or something like that. Like if you're age 50, then you're able to do it. But then we were doing it before they were age 50. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, Travelers bring rose of fire and blood. They say that dragons live once more. That Taliza Botagonar now rides your egg gang gone into battle if you say so that's uh fine fine all right we can just take the uh things that are unprotected by fort level at age 38 lord corliss of the rules road died under suspicious circumstances oh really interesting um my courtier cormand rules base expressed a desire to get married and it's asked for my permission to find a suitable spouse marry as you please he is married pia Lords of the Westlands have approved the institution of limited realm authority law. Cool. Uh, that's definitely a South Shield uh, fleet that was nearby. Not sure if we need to be worried about that or not. Yeah, anyway, we have got some money from this. Let's move on to the next one. Let's go between the uh, go between the aisles. Get as much as we can. All right. Good. Lord Master Josran of Volmark is inherited uh, from command. Oh, Lord Master Josran of Volmark is inherited from. It is inherited from. Oh, it was because you were a commander of Lannisport. I, th I think he was command. Yes, he was definitely commander of Lannisport, of the City Watch. Okay, who do we want to put in instead? I think it has to be Ares Targaryen because um, it's currently Samilla making all the choices, and he is qualified. Drowned Man Burton is no longer a drowned man, apparently. Okay. Is he not? No, he's not. Okay. As Edric is now a drowned man. And he can perform charity in Lannisport. There we go. Right. Let's keep going. Oh, there's a small army coming towards us. Let's see if our dragons have lost all of their shine. We should be able to win it if our dragons are not like normal. Yes. We did win it. Oh, it says we have no leaders on our armies. Yeah, why Why did we just lose all the leaders of our... Oh no, I made a terrible mistake. I made an awful, awful mistake. Um, The reason that uh, is because Master Ares now has land. He's the only landed member. So therefore he holds all the dragons. Oh no. No, this is... This, this was an awful mistake. Um, oh, what, what's the war here? Uh, the Westlander, D Iron Islander, De Jure War over Castley Rock. So it's 15,000 versus the 23,000. Plus Wolando's 2,000. So it was close, but... Oh, that's not good at all. We'll land back getting our, getting our money back. Uh, we'll go off and do some more raiding. I don't know what buttons I was pressing there. That's what I was looking for. I think um, I went into a different map and then it, it then controlled map modes instead of what I wanted it to control. A little bit weird. Okay, so our drag we I just sent all of our dragons away. Yeah, not feeling good about that decision. Didn't really think that through. I guess it was the right decision from a um, character standpoint, but from a gameplay standpoint, not liking that one. Maester Olvar has been tutoring me lately, and I hate it. Learning from scrolls and listening to his lectures bores me. So, I want to go outside. We lose stewardship. We gain slothful. So, we're slothful and ambitious. That's an interesting uh, little pairing. Land in the reach and uh, get some more of this. So, we need uh, three commanders. Uh, we'll go for Euron, Lionel, and Cormant, I guess. A trade galley belonging to the Serpentail Shipping Empire has been several days overdue. This morning, another captain on the Serpentail payroll came to into port with flotsam from the lost ship, which he claims to have found in the wake of a recent storm. It looks like your galley was caught in it. The sea shall be their grave. Oh no. 
Right, we've arrived in the arbor to steal some of its, uh, much, like, all of its money, pretty much, if we can. Yep. That is a lot of stuff we're getting from the arbor. Uh, Lords of the Iron Isles have approved the institution of the Titles and Offices Committee Law. What does that mean? Title and Offices Committee Law. Uh, so it's all by council now. They they choose who gets. Uh, they choose whether people can have titles and offices. All right. Well, we'll grab our money, get on the boat. That's uh, almost as much as we got from the entire previous one. Anywhere else we want to steal from along here? We could just keep going. Oh, wow. Ooh, Old Town looks great. Go oh, there. Just drop in on it. Uh, one child lacks a childhood focus. Munda um, Serpentil. Munda's also by the Targaryen. Um, her focus should be... Um, this is just a uh, random kinswoman of, our, of ours, so we don't really have a great say in it. I think maybe Faith. That's our highest one right now. Let's go with Faith. Alright. I'll see how it goes. Right. Siege down. Old Town. Let's see how it goes. Let's see uh, whether anyone's going to come for us here in Old Town. I would suspect the answer is yes. But we'll see. Oh yeah. They're all coming for us. Get on the boats. Get on the boats. Get on the boats. Yeah. Okay. Ran away with about uh, 40 gold there. 40 ducats. Uh, I love fun and games, but the best game of all is the one of tricking people into doing things for me. Ooh, we're deceitful now. Perfect. Perfect. We're ambitious, deceitful. Um, new Lord Commander on the wall. Uh, that'd be Hothar Bolton. Would be, a, would be the Lord Commander if the wall had any... Oh, it does have land. It has Oaken Shield, apparently. A castle underneath um, the uh, beyond the wall. Weird. Okay. Cool. We will continue with our uh, raiding. Let's go to Doran for a little bit. Anywhere along here that's really, really easily, like, able to be attacked? Guess not. We're just going to go Sunspear then. All the way along. And we will raid Sunspear. And we'll do that. Then we'll end the episode, I think. A little bit of an autosave. Um... The more I think about it, the more I see that fairness and justice are things worth striving for. Oh, so we're now just. So, we are slothful, ambitious, deceitful, just. Charitable. What a weird collection of traits about ourselves. Okay. Uh, I have no idea what to do with those. I'll need to think about it between episodes, but we'll continue stealing from Doran while we can. We're unmarried. Ah, because we're now 14, we can marry. Perfect thing to do next time. Uh, we will finish the sea. It doesn't look like they're coming to stop us, Doran, which is weird. Oh, Doran are at war. War in a, in a blood feud. We, I guess we must have got a pop-up about that at some point. Uh, maybe. Oh, it might not be their blood feud. They might have joined. Yeah, it's not their blood feud. Uh, they're in a war between Magister Moroth of Moroth and Princess Tien. Okay. Uh, they are also in a peasant's revolt and another peasant's revolt. Oh, maybe they, all their men are up at the wall. Maybe that's it. Maybe they ran all the men up to stop the peasant's revolt. And that's why there's nobody here to protect Dorne. That works perfectly for us. Yes, yeah, grab all the possible loot. Your aunt, your aunt Gwena Serpentil, has died. It now falls upon you to decide whether to make the funeral a big or special event or keep it a small and private one. Um, I think we'll make it a small and private one. I don't think we, um, I, I don't imagine we had that much of an attachment. Anyway, we are going to end the episode there. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.